All right, how's everyone doing? Welcome to From Z to A, Alphabetical Interviews with Zach Anderson. I am Zach Anderson. Today we are here at Sage Sound Studios for the 29th edition of Monsters of Acoustic Rock, and I am joined by Charles Kessler. Hello. So thank you so much for being on the show. Sure, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so now I'm going to ask you the difficult questions as long as they have something to do with the letters of your name. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with K. Uh, what kind of music did you listen to growing up, uh, and uh, has it affected uh, or influenced your uh, style in any way? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I grew up listening like in the late 90s, Blink-182, mm -hmm. uh, then transitioned into more emo, like Taking Back Sunday, right. new, that kind of stuff. It morphed into kind of more like iron and wine mm -hmm. through the years, softer as I got older and right. started to understand things a bit better. Uh, but yeah, definitely a huge, huge influence. Just growing, going back, listening to the old records, like uh, early Taking Back Sunday, so like that, like, yeah. wow, I, I didn't realize how much of an influence mm -hmm. these guys actually had on me. Right. So yeah, definitely. Excellent. Um, so uh, what's something uh, essential you have to do before a show? Do you have any uh, pre-show rituals? Uh, usually just a shot. Okay. Like, <laughs> just to get up on the mic. Or, right, right. Yeah, it's usually just, I don't know. Yeah, I, I got you. Just mentally prepare somehow. <laughs> so I have to freak out. Yeah. Uh, how do you go about choosing songs for a set? Uh, do you tend to plan it out like meticulously ahead of time, or do you uh, make it up on the fly? Do you change it depending on how people react? Yeah, I usually I do it precisely mm -hmm. so I, I practice them in the order I'm going to be playing them yep. so I don't lose my head. Gotcha. It just becomes one single motion instead of eight different motions. Right, right. Gotcha. So, yeah. <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier to maintain, yep. not get lost. In right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and what's your songwriting process? Do you usually start with uh, music or lyrics? Uh, does it vary song to song? Yeah, I mean, it pretty much varies. Rarely do I start with lyrics, it's usually just play on the guitar, yeah. or the piano, see what happens, and then if it, something clicks, and you run with it a little bit, mm -hmm. and you start humming along to it, and out comes a lyric, or nothing happens. Right. So it's like hit or miss usually, but the more you do it, the more you'll get out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, and uh, what themes or topics do you tend to uh, write about in your lyrics? It's mostly just personal stuff, like uh, I use it kind of as a catharsic Catharsic, cathartic, 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 cathartic uh, kind of flush of an, of an experience. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's the only way I really know how to say things a lot of times is write a song about it. And sometimes you'll find things you don't even realize were there. Like mm -hmm. so you didn't realize things were bothering you, but then this one lyric came out and that started, planted the seed for the entire song to bloom out of that one line. Okay. So it's like, oh wow, I guess, okay, I guess I was kind of feeling like that. Mm -hmm. and it's like it's kind of self-therapy in that way. So yeah. usually music comes first and uh, lyrics, if anything. But yeah. Nice. Um, now, uh, what has been your most embarrassing moment on stage? Well, it's probably the first time I ever performed live. I was uh, like a coffee house open mic and uh, I was just trembling, mm -hmm. completely a uh, complete mess. When I finished the set, I was recording on my cell phone so I could listen back to yeah. it. And I, I just got up and almost ran out of the room. I left my cell phone down under the chair, and they're like, "Hey, hey, is your cell phone?" I'm like, "Gosh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get out of here quick, but yeah. you caught me." Good like, man. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, but, yeah. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, any recent releases or upcoming uh, recording projects you're uh, you like to discuss? No, I mean, usually I just, I have streaks, mm -hmm. like three or four month periods where I, I do a lot of writing, but n nothing nothing recently. Okay. I'm uh, hoping to get back into it. Usually in the summertime it slows down a bit because yeah. outside more. Right, gotcha. Not, not as depressed, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So winter time kind of bundled up and yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a guitar, keep me warm. I gotcha. <laughs> Um, now I'd like to end all my interviews with uh, three interesting or random facts about yourself that many people might not know. Um, God, you know, interesting or random. Let's see, I was uh, top 20 computer science competition for programming. Really? Yeah. Hmm. In high school. So I guess that's random. Yeah. That's... Uh, what else? I don't know, I pretty much wear it all out there. Right, right. So there's nothing... Uh, really what's your favorite breakfast cereal? Ah, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and let's go with uh, favorite dessert. 
Probably apple pie. Okay. Just a nice warm apple pie. Yeah. I'll know it. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if you want to check out Charles, please visit the link below, and now we'll cut to a performance from Charles Kessler. So uh, thanks again. We'll see you soon. Just not today.